Welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm joined by Dr. Melanie Schemberger. Dr. Schemberger, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the Board of Regents and your role as faculty regent. Sure. Uh, could you tell me a little about, bit about what the Board of Regents is and what, um, how they play in making decisions for campus? Sure. So the Board of Regents at Murray State University, really at almost any college or university you can imagine, um, we are charged with um, setting policy for the university, how the university is going to operate. And the regents, we operate as the fiduciaries. So we're more concerned with basically making sure is the university operating in a transparent manner according to policy. Could you tell me a little bit more about your role as faculty regent? Yes, so as faculty regent, I am honored to serve and represent the faculty on the Murray State University Board of Regents. Um, it's, it's an honor. If somebody were to tell me 10 years ago that I would be representing the faculty at Murray State University on the Board of Regents, I would have laughed. Um, but it is a, a tremendous honor. Um, what I do is whenever we discuss anything on the board level, I try to bring the faculty perspective to issues and topics that we are discussing. Um, so that's basically what I do as faculty regent. Have you enjoyed your time as the faculty regent so far? It's been busy, um, I, but I have enjoyed it. Um, it is, again, the, the, the largest honor to, to serve them and to represent them. It's been um, filled with activities, meetings, as you can imagine, right. and I've learned a lot about university life, but again, all through the faculty lens. Good. Um, I understand the Board of Regents is considering a resolution expressing concerns about performance funding. Could you tell me a little bit more about what that means and why the Board's considering a resolution? It's not so much a resolution as it is that we are looking to educate the legislature as to um, really what performance funding, how it should be modified. So our administration has been working with legislators um, for the past couple of weeks and um, trying to see how much funding could we get um, for high higher education. Funding has been rather um, lacking <laughs> for higher ed in Kentucky. So they are working to, um, to, to build um, that knowledge for our policy makers. I, I understand that five new online programs are target to start in the fall of 2020 semester um, in regards to eCampus. Could you tell me a little bit more about eCampus? Sure, so um, as you probably know, um, I am a champion for online teaching and learning. I love teaching online. It allows me to be intentional um, in, in my face-to-face -face instruction. Mm -hmm. But um, it is still a, a new um, opportunity for a lot of our faculty. So we do have five pilot, or excuse me, five graduate programs that will serve as the pilot. Uh, masters in Public Relations, being the one that I teach in. Also the Master of Public Administration, Master of Business Administration, uh, a graduate degree in uh, cybersecurity, and then the other one is Business Analytics. So beginning in fall 2020, these five online programs will be part of this pilot for our eCampus. And so we're hoping to grow enrollment with that. Um, and really um, the online performance management firm that we are working with will start um, recruiting in the spring, hopefully for, for students to, to take our programs online. That's really cool. Um, with the recurring problems of budget cuts and tuition increases, how has the Board of Regents been able to communicate the importance of education at Murray State and um, it's how it's still of value to students? Wow, so you, you know, really any college education is valuable. Um, I'm going to really answer that though from a student's perspective. I am a graduate student again. Um, I am taking courses online um, through the University of Kentucky, but for somebody to say that a college degree is not valuable anymore because of all these budget cuts right. or, or tuition hikes, that's, it, it's, it's, it kind of, it's like a dagger to the heart for me. Um, a college degree is not easy to earn. Right. And you're, you know, right. you're working toward <laughs> yeah. that, so you, you know how difficult <clears throat> the, the curriculum can be. <clears throat> so, um, so what we're trying to do is convey this message that really, you know, Murray State University is the place to be. Um, we, we have the lowest tuition, um, really among the comprehensives in Kentucky, and really higher education is for any student who really wants to work hard for it. So, um, Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, other than, you know, I, I look forward always um, when I come to Murray State University every day to, to represent faculty in a positive way. Um, I think faculty have 
for a long time not had their voice heard and their stories told and I, I love it when faculty do great things in their teaching and their research and their service and it's just a, an honor to, to serve them so that way we can help students even better. Uh, the faculty are the heart of any institution so for students to succeed, faculty need to succeed. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Um, coming up next, Joey and I will go head-to-head -to, -head to see who can create the best jack-o'-lantern within a set period of time.